topic for today is uh, internships. I've had a few internships and the one question that interns are able to answer at the end of an internship is always, could I see myself doing this for the next 30 to 50 years of my life and not hating it? And because I've had internships where the answer was definitely no. (laughs) I've given lots of internships. Um, I think that the way that I've been handling interns kind of evolved a little bit. I used to be a lot rougher uh, with them, given a project of some sort, sometimes the traffic light, but it's always been that I've only provided about 80% of the guidance that they need and let them self-discover the last 20%. But I've been finding that it's pretty good indicator on the type of person if they're going to end up being successful. Yeah, definitely. And that's not a skill that a lot of other engineering disciplines really push or value, but it's key to building that for this particular industry. And I think it's pretty much key for, you know, approaching life in general. So there's lots of philosophical benefits to that approach and it's uncomfortable and it's kind of annoying. And if you can't handle it, or if you don't particularly like that style, there, then it's good to, to know that as the intern and as the, the manager, because, you know, some people don't want to, to work in that environment. I feel like you it's kind of have to, sorry, I feel like you kind of have to experience at least some of it, or else you're going to walk into industry and be like a deer in headlights. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Depending on when, depending on where you go or, or what you do, you know, but if you are in the automation world, yes, you're, you're absolutely right. You're going to experience it. Especially with our industry. Like this isn't something that most people specialize in in college or like come and all that, like those specific skills aren't really what you're leaving college with. You're more leaving college with the problem solving. You're totally right, Jacob. There are definitely times when your workload just makes it so it's much harder to evaluate or much easier to evaluate whether or not a person is a good fit. And, and some, the exact same person doing the exact same internship a year apart might have totally different experiences. I don't know how you can standardize it when all of our day-to-day activities, what I was doing last year versus the year before versus the year before that versus the year before that, none of it's been. That said though, the traffic light is an oddly, having seen so many people do it for so many years from different universities and stuff, you can almost profile the person right off of how they end up implementing it. And then the next stage and the next stage, and then all of a sudden you end up seeing the deviation right after that first Uh, obstacle that you put in front of there the way that they handle it is is a huge indicator of how well that they end up doing it It starts hurting after a while being the jerk to say there's nothing you can do to make it better except fail a couple times and eventually you'll get it you know that's such a jerk way to do it i think now we can give them this podcast and tell them oh it's not gonna matter it only gets worse (laughs) And I ended up getting my first job from that internship. Where do you think the importance of internship is to hiring a full-time position? Huge. It's huge because like I was having my internship uh, is only supposed to go till what the end of winter quarter. And so I was like, okay, I don't, I don't know if they're going to extend my internship, start looking, for, put my resume out there. And then you guys offered me a, uh, an extension it's like okay and then I started getting like hits back on my resume and although I had work experience like retail and stuff it was I never got hits back until like I had an internship this has been a production of lucid automation the opinions expressed are those of the individuals and do not represent those of lucid automation upon further consideration those opinions would likely be retracted by the individuals that made them All opinions are to be considered for entertainment purposes only and should, under no circumstances, be considered professional engineering advice. Please contact Lucid Automation directly at http colon forward slash forward slash lucidautomationsecurity.com for official advice.